Hi there, and welcome to St. John's Online Sunday School. I'm Catherine, and today we're talking about a really important message. Today's story is about the way that we treat people. If you started a new school, I'm sure that you went out onto the playground or into your classroom that first day and you looked around and you chatted with a few folks and you wanted to see who was gonna be a good choice for you to be a friend. Now, I know that there's a lot of people that would tell you that you should help or get to know those members of your classroom who are often left out. I also know that that's really hard to do because the our desire, our need and want to be a part of a group of friends, to be lifted up and celebrated and, and um, contribute to that friendship is really high. There's a big risk in us attaching ourselves to people who may not be popular or the kind of people that others like to spend time with. But today's story tells us that when we take care of those of us who are in the most need, whether that be financial need or social need. If when we take care of those people, we are taking care of Jesus. Let's think about that again. When we take care of the most vulnerable people, the people that are the most left out or in trouble, we are serving God. I think that's a really important challenge for us to consider that when we go out into the world each day and we interact with people it doesn't matter how much money we make or how many friends we have or what clothes we wear what matters the most is how we treat other people how we give what we have or our what's available to us, to others who need it. Because according to this story, those of us that do that go to heaven, are granted eternal life. They inherit the promise of Jesus's kingdom. So that's pretty cool. So I want you to go out today and I want you to think about how you can make a difference in someone's life I want you to think about the people that you're friends with. And I want you to think about the people who are left out. And think about a way that you can include them. In a genuine way, not in a way that shows them that you pity them or that it's um, uh, an afterthought. Make a genuine connection with somebody. That's doing God's work. And we want to treat others the way we would be treated. If you were hungry or needed a warm coat or a place to sleep, wouldn't you want someone to help you? I sure would. I'm not saying you should take everyone in who's on the street or give away all your food. I'm saying do what you can. Do what you can to help people. And one great way we can help people this season is to donate to community care. So this is going to be a pretty tricky, difficult Christmas for a lot of families. And so next time one of your grown-ups is at the grocery store, or if you're with them, pick up some nutritious foods that are non-perishable and either bring them to community care directly or bring them to St. John's. We are also sponsoring a family this year through community care to help provide them 
with a, a good Christmas. So if you or your family has extra money that they'd be willing to donate to that specific cause, then we will take that donation and buy gifts and food for that family for Christmas. Think about going through some of the clothes you own. Do you have coats, boots, hats, mitts that you aren't using? Why not donate those as well? Each small thing that we do makes a difference. So I want you to think about that and maybe try and make a difference in someone's life this week. We love you here at St. John's. God loves you. And we'll see you next time.